Hey guys, Shane here. Um, doing a video today on something a little different, something you've never seen me do before. Um, I want to kind of explain why. Um, this is by far my favorite fixed blade knife that I own. I own a few. I wouldn't say I own several, probably five or six. Um, what got me into fixed blade knives and trying to pick out the perfect fixed blade knife was actually what got me into knives altogether. Um, you know, I, I, like a lot of you guys, got got hooked into this whole survival, prepping, uh, you know, bug out bag hobby. Um, I call it that because uh, some people think it's silly, and, and some aspects of it may be. You know, I know at my age and my health, I'm, I'm in no shape to bug out anywhere, but, but it's been a fun hobby. It hasn't been a very expensive hobby. Um, I may do a video one day and break down my bug out bag to show you what's in it. And I'm sure I'm, you know, one of these days I'm going to die and that bag's going to be sitting there. I'd, you know, never been touched and I'm, I'm okay with that. But, um, anyway, getting into that got me, uh, into buying gear. And when I, when I came across knives, man, that really sent me down the rabbit hole. You know, that's what started where I'm at today with, you know, with my folding knives. Um, but it did all start with a fixed blade. Um, I went through several before I, before I decided on which one was the right one for me, which one was probably the best fixed blade money could buy, um, or the best fixed blade for the money, I'll put it that way. And the reason why I went with an Ontario Rat 7 was because it is 1095 steel, it's my car to handle, 7 inch blade, it's got a good hefty blade stock on it, um, I wouldn't be scared to, you know, uh, chop a tree down or, or build a shelter with this knife. Um, you know, it, it's tried and true. There's one thing though that this knife is not great at and never will be great at and that is slicing. Um, I actually had an Ontario Rat 7 before that I, I tried to lay back the edge on this first inch right here so I could use that for more delicate, precise task. It, it didn't really work out. It, it kind of ruined the knife, but um, but anyway, uh, so then I thought, well, you know, one knife is not always the answer. You know, if I had to have one knife, it would be this large knife. But, you know, in the bug out bag, I had a little room. So I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll add something a little slicier to it. And that, guys, I went through the Moras and, um, you know, I went through, a, uh, I tried the cold steel fin wolf and, and they're all great knives, but I, I'll show you the one that really uh, took that spot for me. And, and I'll tell you why. This knife has had a lot of negative reviews. Um, and I feel like they're unfair. And the reason I think they're unfair is because I think people were reviewing it for something that it's not. First of all, not everybody knows this, this is not a folding knife. This is the cold steel click and cut. Um, I too thought it was a folding knife when I first saw it. You know, when you see it out of the package, it kind of looks like a folding knife, but it is not. It's a fixed blade knife. And the reason why it has what looks to be a triad lock, that actually releases this blade. You mash that, rock it forward, pull it right out, blade comes out. Um, it's one of the reasons why I really love this setup. I love the idea. I thought it was ingenious because uh, you take this one knife and you've now turned it into three different knives. It comes with a drop point blade. It comes with a straight utility blade or one cliff blade, if you want to call it that. And then a very interesting aspect. It also comes with a straight serrated blade. Um, this thing is cheap guys. And when I say it's cheap, I mean, it's, it's kind of cheap made. However, it's plenty sturdy for what it's designed to do. Um, it's very inexpensive to, to purchase. Um, I've used this straight utility blade more than I have anything. I did a bunch of sheetrock work in my home. Um, and, and I loved it because it's so much more comfortable than your average box cutter. But what really impressed me was when I got done, uh, you know, I was expecting to throw this blade away because you can buy these packs, packs of these blades. I think they're about $12, $15 for five. So it's super cheap. So I didn't have an issue with throwing it away. However, I wanted to try something first. So I tried stropping it. Came back razor sharp. So 
I don't want to go as far as to say that these are disposable blades. These are interchangeable blades. You can replace them. However, they can be resharpened. I haven't put them on a stone, but um, I cut a lot of sheetrock. And if you guys know what sheetrock does to an edge, I cut a lot of sheetrock with this with this blade, and it strops right back, and now it's razor sharp, ready to work again. Um, that one small test in itself was enough to convince me that this knife is worth every penny. I believe everybody should own three. They should have one in their truck. They should have one in their go bag. They should have one in their kitchen utility drawer because this knife with these three blades can do almost everything you need to do. It really could replace just about your whole knife collection other than the fact that it's not fidgety, it's not fancy, it's not pretty. It's just a cutting tool. Um, so this paired with this, I feel like um, after all my testing and I, all the money I blew getting to this point, I feel like are the ultimate survival knife combination. I don't think you could do any better. Um, I'm not saying you couldn't do as good, but I don't think you could do any better, um, especially for the amount of money spent here. Um, between the two of these knives, I, you know, you're probably talking about 110 bucks. You know, you can't buy an SE for that. You can't buy tops for that. Um, but I still got a my car to handle 1095 full flat ground beast of a work knife. And then I've got a small finesse blade that can do everything that this knife can do, but it doesn't really do it well. So this is a setup I have in my go bag. Um, like I said, you know, I'll probably pass away one of these days and somebody to open that thing up, think, what the hell is all this? Why did he buy all this shit? But it was just been fun, guys. You know, regardless whether you ever need it, it's a fun hobby to get into. If you're kind of burnt out on just pocket knives or, or you know, you're getting a little bored with it because you've bought damn near everything like most of us have, it's something else fun to get into. Um, you know, a lot of you probably already have because some of you, I'm sure, are like me. That's what got you into knives to begin with, was researching the best gear for that type of situation. And once you got the knives, you never left. But um, anyway... I just wanted to go over, you know, what uh, what I, my findings and what I think is, is the best setup. Um, I would really, really like to know, and if you guys would, let me know in the comments. Did did prepping slash survival get you into knives? And if so, um, you know, what's your your favorite survival knife or survival knife combination? Let me know in the comments. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, you guys know I appreciate any of my time y'all spend with me. Peace, love y'all.